Hey, how you doing? Dirt D here, and starting off a new Let's Look At slash Let's Play, Oxygen Not Included. Uh, I've seen some people playing this, and I thought it looked uh, really, really interesting. Kind of got a, a RimWorld uh, Terraria 2D vibe. And uh, as kind of the, uh, the title suggests, you have to think about uh, a couple of different things that you normally don't, uh, that you normally don't consider while playing kind of dwarf fortressy type games. Uh, Oxygen Not Included has kind of some uh, interesting, like a neat little mechanic that involves kind of uh, how they handle liquids and how they handle like gases, like carbon dioxide, uh, carbon monoxide, and uh, just oxygen itself. So you'll see it as uh, we start the game. So you see a resume game there. I did play about an hour of it uh, just to kind of get a handle on the mechanics. I'm really glad I did because if I had started the Let's Play without playing around in the game a little bit, I think I would have been super lost. And as it is, um, you, you know, I think I still have a lot to learn and, and hopefully you'll learn with me as we go along or perhaps you can give me a few tips. So I'm actually going to start a new game here now and it's going to take a little while to actually generate uh, the world that we're going to be going into. Now after this screen finishes up you're going to notice something very familiar. It's got kind of a RimWorld vibe. We get to uh, select the uh, the first three colonists that we start out with and uh, unlike RimWorld where colonists kind of join at uh, random points you have this kind of person printer that uh, will generate a person for your, or for, <laughs> will generate a person for you, or a colonist uh, for you at, at uh, certain intervals. So right now we have Hideki, or Hideki, uh, is good at, at athletics, uh, creativity, and learning. He's a mouth breather, which means he uses up a lot of oxygen, but he's a quick learner. So all of the, all of the colonists start off with uh, different traits. Mole hands, this guy's good at tunneling, but he's also a mouth breather, which means he would also use a lot of oxygen. This guy's got an iron gut, he can just eat he can eat just about anything without getting sick, but he's also a narcoleptic, so he can fall asleep at any time. I'm not sure if we want a couple of people who suck down oxygen really, really quickly, but you know what? Uh, I'm gonna, and they also have a decor expectation Thing. So this guy has a negative decor uh, expectation. So I mean, he's gonna be like uh, super, super into like the dirt walls and stuff that we're gonna start out. He's also a vomiter. Everybody's a vomiter, so you can kind of get get the feeling of uh, how this game is gonna go along, especially if things start to go bad. So let's embark, and we're embarking to the Great Space Camp. It, I'm okay with the name that this uh, thing generated, so I'll go with, it, with that. So, okay, so where they came out, these people... Okay, so alert. Crew has awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body. I'll leave they have no recollection of how they got here. It's best to start digging. So, yeah, they, we have this printing pod, and this basically uh, prints our colonists for us at regular intervals. So, we start off... Uh, there is oxygen in this uh, little area that we start in, thank goodness. So we're going to want to expand, we're going to want to grow, and we're going to want to make oxygen for ourselves because, as the title suggests, oxygen is not included, and it can become a, uh, a big kind of mess. So you also see colony requires toilets. Um, we'll have to look at that as well. So there's oxygen in this tunnel. There's liquid in this tunnel. I'm not sure how what's keeping the liquid kind of <laughs> in the vertical here, but it's kind of weird. Uh, there's oxygen up here, and yeah, I'm just kind of having a look. So, uh, things that we need, we need copper. You need copper to produce power. You need copper wiring. Uh, the green stuff is algae. You need that for oxygen production. Very important. Uh, I haven't gotten a, to a point in the game where you don't need that, and you can produce your own plants, so it uh, seems to be a big mainstay. And uh, I also need water, so um, let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to tunnel this way so we can get a little bit of algae. And there's also a muck root, which is a little bit of food for us. So you have to feed your colonists as well. Okay, so we'll make our initial order. We're going to dig. We're going to dig this way. And we're also going to want to have a ladder 
coming down here so we can actually access stuff. So that's under the space tab. Ladder. Uh, we don't have any materials yet because we haven't dug anything. Okay. So the colonists have basically these antimatter guns where they can pick up stuff and do whatever they want with it. So we'll let them do that. So they are. We do have a little bit of food that we start off with. Okay. So. We'll dig in here. There's more oxygen in here, so that's going to be good for us. Still don't know how this uh, how this water is kind of staying vertical, but I guess that's part of the game. So oxygen, we do need oxygen. Uh, we're going to want uh, raw metal, so that's where this copper comes in. I'm kind of hesitant to dig into this copper because I'm not sure what's keeping this water kind of vertical like that. I haven't seen it. Uh, uh, like, I don't want to dig in, and then my colonists drown, but that is the easiest uh, to access copper, so maybe we'll try it. Maybe it will all go wrong in the first couple of minutes of me playing. <laughs> I hope not. I really hope not. We also want to dig out this algae, because we are going to need it. I guarantee. I guarantee we need it. Okay, so we need an algae deox deoxidizer, which converts algae into oxygen. And uh, where are we going to put that? Well, there's not much oxygen down here, so we'll drop that to be built there. And uh, this, does this need power? I don't think this needs power, but it might. We're going to have to start some power generation at some point anyway. So, uh, so we're getting a little bit of copper here. Again, this water is totally freaking me out, but anyway. Um, so we need toilets. Where are we going to put the toilets? Uh, so yeah, there, there's low oxygen here now. So oxygen kind of rises, carbon dioxide is heavier, so it falls. So that's why I'm putting the oxygen generator down here. So if they're down here working... Okay, so it does need power. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're actually going to dig out like a nice squarish area here. And we're going to make a power generation thing. This is why I'm glad I played the, the game beforehand, because I was building these these manual generators and I could not figure out how to wire them up. Uh, I'll show you what happened in a second. So we'll build that, and then we need electrical wire. So what I was doing is, I was, okay, I'm going to build a wire there, build a wire there, build a wire there. That's not how you do it. You have to click and drag where you want the wire to go. So just in case you play this game at some point, don't be a big dummy like me and individually put down tile after tile of wire and not understand why things are not getting powered. So um, we're going to work on that. Also like RimWorld, um, so he's having a breathing issue there. Hopefully we will have our oxygen woes solved uh, very soon. Um, yeah, like RimWorld, there is like this jobs menu, but we're only at the start of the game yet, so I'm going to make everyone kind of work at the same time. So this guy is going to start generating. Uh, so they should start feeding this thing algae, and it is now producing oxygen for us. So that's good. That's good. Having oxygen is, uh, is a good thing in this game. All right, so they're working at that. Um, I probably want a battery, too, to store power overnight. So let's dig this out. And then we'll drop a tiny battery there. And again, we have to wire it up, like so. Okay. All right. Uh, so what do we want to do now? We want some. We want to start research. So where are, are we going to do research? Uh, let's do it. We still need to build a pooper somewhere as well. So I'm just trying to figure this out. The best way to do it. That's a vacuum down there. Don't know if we want to run into that. Um, oxalite? Emitting oxygen. Okay. We're going to leave that as it is, I think, if it's emitting oxygen. Seems like a good thing to have. Uh, yeah, let's build our research station kind of up here. And we're going to have to wire this up again. Uh, so, where's my power? Right there. Electrical wire, so go down like so. Okay. Uh, so how are we doing for oxygen now? So we can look at a report. So we've added 42k of oxygen 
during the day we removed 86k so we're going to want to kind of have more oxygen generation if we uh, if we want to continue still a lot of oxygen here not so much here tell you what we'll build another oh we need more copper okay so what we'll do for that is we'll dig at the rest of this copper uh, the way that this water is suspended it's kind of freaking me out but uh, looks like our guys aren't going to, to drown. So this guy, he's the narcoleptic dude. He fell asleep. Um, but he's going to be alright. Really, they had to remove the floor for the wire? It's kind of strange, but anyway. So what happens to the water when we remove that tile? It just kind of bounces, hey? Weird. Weird. Okay, so... Um, we have to start our research, so let's open our research dam. Going to go with farming tech. Uh, every, what, everybody that I've seen play, uh, I was going to say RimWorld, but oxygen not included. Uh, they usually start out with uh, farm tech, so it seems to be the thing to do. And we also need to start a queue. So let's do that. The queue thing seems kind of weird for the research bench. You'd think you would just kind of start it and things would go, but... Not so, not so in this case. So right now we have three colonists. Uh, I'll probably grab one more once our printer's done in uh, 1,200 seconds, I guess. So you see our battery's getting charged up there. Um, and I did want another LG deoxidizer to get some more uh, oxygen into this uh, this area of the base. So uh, as we expand, we're going to make like smaller rooms and we're going to have, uh, I don't think we can build them yet, pneumatic doors that will keep kind of areas where there's oxygen. You, you know, you, you don't want too big of a space to try to, to keep everyone breathing. You want smaller spaces, I think, with, uh, with a nice oxygen production. So... <laughs> You don't end up using the, all your... Yeah, there's CO2 over here. So we would... Yeah, we'd probably want a um, a door right there. Because we still want to have access to these resources. Uh, that's not powered up. Why not? I thought I... I guess not. All right, so we'll pop that in. Make that part of our production. Um... All right, so we're probably going to want some more. So there's oxygen up here. There's lots of algae up here, and there's also plants. So we probably want to go upwards. So we're going to dig up like so. We're going to dig out like this. And we're going to want ladders to do that. Let's drop those in. Okay. Uh, good movement. Okay, so we're producing oxygen. We're not producing any food right now. Uh, it's just kind of the food that we started with. So let's take care of that. Uh, we need a microbe musher. We need raw metal for that. So we'll continue to mine this ore. Okay, so we've hit the end of our first cycle. So at the end of the day, everybody kind of goes to sleep. And you can take a look at the daily report. So yesterday we added 126 Ks of oxygen. We removed, we removed 159 Ks. Uh, we're good for power. And also, we removed a whole bunch of calories. Calories is basically your, your food. So um, we'll get to work at uh, on that once we get the micro musher kind of in hand here. So they're just going to sleep over the night. Uh, we're going to build cots for these guys eventually, but it won't be right at the start of the game. They'll, they'll have a comfortable spot to sleep eventually. And, of course, you do have your game speeds that you can... Uh, ramp up the speed down if uh, depending on what you how you like to play there's some coal there uh, of course these ran out of power in the middle of the night because uh, we drained our battery so they will not be producing any oxygen for a while until this guy gets on the treadmill and starts working away all right so we have okay so he's still working at uh, at our first technology there so this guy is doing some construction right now this guy's producing power. Everybody has to poop. And I still haven't built a pooper yet. Uh, so where's that? Plumbing, I guess. Outhouse. Um, 
plop the outhouse out here, and I think carbon dioxide sinks. I'm gonna build like a like a couple little sinks, like so. I'm not sure if I can do it this way. I'm gonna try it, and that's where like the the heavier gases are gonna fall down. I hope. I hope. I may be wrong about that. They're all eating right now, and we are starting to make our way through the. Uh, our food reserves so hopefully somebody is going to start mining some of this copper at some point everybody has to poop yes build a pooper building a pooper is a good idea there you go so yeah I can I can manually start to assign jobs here but I'm gonna keep things general for now and uh, made a mess every yeah everybody kind of crapped themselves <laughs> because I didn't have a pooper made that's my fault. It's my fault. I'm sorry, colonists. Um, I'm a bad underground colony manager, dude. There's some oxalate here as well. That's producing oxygen. That's also good for us. Alright, so there's our outhouse. People now have a spot to poop. And you can see, like, where... Let's see, there's... Uh... I want to look at the electrical wire. So yeah, we have a uh, contaminated ox oxygen. That's where the people basically poop themselves. <laughs> so there's uh, CO2 there. Um, all right, so we're still producing oxygen down here. There's a ton of breathable gas here. Uh, breathable gas here. That's good. And yeah, having this oxalate here seems like a good idea. All right, so he's mining the copper. What did we want to build with the copper? Uh, one of these, a micro masher. So let's build that down here, make that part of our, our power line, I guess. Insufficient oxygen. So we're not producing enough. Research is complete, okay. Um, what, so we just finished farming, I think. Yep, okay, so we have to assign new research. Uh, we're going to go for power, I think, at this point. So at at this uh, juncture in time, I think I'm going to wrap things up there. Hey, if you like what you saw here today, think about liking the video, think about subscribing to the channel. I do plan to play a lot more of this. It uh, seems like a great uh, time sink. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a terrific day, and uh, try not to uh, kill any of your own colonists. I'll see you next time.